Frankie, are you? I am so impressed. 16 year old Zachar, first of all, you grew a good four inches from yeah. a, what, a couple of months ago when I last saw you? Yeah. Grilling up a storm here on the patio, getting kids excited about cooking. You say they write you all the time because yeah. you're a superstar teen prodigy <laughs> chef. So, what are we grilling today? All right, so. I have an awesome sweet hack for you guys today. When, like, whenever you're cooking a steak, the perfect way to do it is perfect temperature. Okay. So today we're going to be sous viding these steaks and some chimichurri sauce. I'm so impressed that you have a sous vide. You said <laughs> I, I you can get one for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, you can actually get one for a hundred bucks. It's like a little attachment that you fill in with a tub of water. What is sous vide? You say it so is. So it's basically where you take like um, you vacuum seal it, or you can put it in a plastic bag, and you cook it in a separate like kind of tub filled with water, and it's exact yeah. temperature. So the whole thing will be cooked perfectly. Yep. So Look at what that. did you put in there as the marinades? Yeah, so it's just like my classic chimichurri sauce. So it's like um, parsley, cilantro, lemon juice, salt, pepper, and oil. Okay. Yeah. And you've been cooking since you were 11. Yeah, you I've been cooking since I was 11. Yep. You have this amazing book out that we I can do. get on your website. Yeah, you can get on my website six recipes, and it comes with six online videos Love also it. showing you how to do it. Love so it. if you ever have trouble, you can always kind of refer to it. So you put the marinade in there, and yep. then what temperature did you leave it in the sous vide? So this was 130 for okay. about two hours. Two you hours. could leave it in longer. If it, and on lower temperature if you wanted like a bit more tender. Okay. But I kind of like this. So this is what and we're And technically do. it's like cooked and all the juices it's are like, in there but you got to finish perfect. it off. This is perfect but it's a little slimy. Yeah. You know it, it, it doesn't have that nice charred yes. or sear flavor. Yes. So that's where the barbecue comes Go into play. It. So you said you could either barbecue it or you could even put it in the oven. Yeah. So you could either barbecue this or like sear it in okay. a pan with like butter and thyme and baste it. Nice. That's also really delicious but I love the barbecue. So how long would you sear it for? Because it's technically cooked. Just it's to get technically it technically cooked. Yeah. You don't want it to be over but you just probably cook it till it has a nice sear. So okay. I actually have one done here as well. So guys can you tell the difference? Look one is steak and one is a yeah, portobello, portobello steak if you will. So I know you love your veggies. Yeah you remember Zach. You're I the do. Best. I can't forget about you right? You're the best. All right so this is this is same thing grilled in our in our chimichurri sauce. Okay. And then I'm actually do you want to help me plate up a dish? Of course. All right so I'm gonna swap I'll with be you. your sous chef. All right you're my sous chef. So let's do it. All right so you got the brush with the chimichurri sauce and Okay. This will be like kind of like your portobello steak. So you said this is so easy to make. You just grab yeah. the fresh ingredients. Yep. And you blend it. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually plate that here if you want. Here too. We're oh. going to plate up a dish really Am quickly. I doing it wrong, Zach? Are you no, being nice? No, you're good. I'm no, doing you're it wrong. good. You're good. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Zach, just take... I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah, oh, you can take I a see. Brush oh my there. gosh. You meant to brush the plate. I'm I, failing. I got to plate up your steak, right? Okay, you know what? I got to do it right now. I see. Now I'm getting it. There Zach, you go. Look at that. Took a minute, Zach. Awesome. I'm back on board. Let's do That's this. That's all good. No, you're doing an awesome so job. So you're doing one of these Perfect. so that it absorbs the flavors. <laughs> exactly. On the plate. On it's the plate. It's your fancy. Yeah, I'm, now, I'm super nice. What's this about a pop-up shop that you're doing? So I'm actually doing a pop-up restaurant this July 5th. Yeah. And it's basically a 10-course meal, and it's each dish kind of has a thought behind it, and it's going to be really cool. 10-course Ten meal. 10 courses. Yep. How do you I'm go about so even like planning a 10-course meal? Um, That's a lot. Of time. I spent the last two weeks experimenting in the kitchen, just doing a bunch of research, finding out of the way new things. So it's a lot. It's 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 quite a bit to be honest. You're just the best. <laughs> I'm just you. gonna scoop up some of this chimichurri. Take, take some of it. Take and all I of love it. that you did chicken skewers. You have a double burger. You said you're I a boy. I love double patties. So these are actually sous vide patties as well. Mm. These are awesome. And what did you make as a beverage? So just some classic lemonade. I mean, we're barbecuing. It's in the summer. It's hot. You got to have some nice um, lemonade to go along with everything. Zach, where do we find more information on your book and your pop-up? Uh, you guys can go to my website, zachcara.com, and you can check out all my social media there as well, too. How Are you kidding me with this portobello? Great. Delish. Awesome. Come back anytime. For sure. You're Thank the you best. So much. Superstar. We'll be back with more BT right after this. This has got such a nice texture. It's awesome.